eight times the free throw line. Um, you know, I, I, I thought we did a pretty good job on him, kind of let him get to his spots a little bit too easy in the, at one point in the game to start the second. But, you know, um, yeah, I didn't think that was necessarily the key to the game. So, Chris, on, the, on that last possession that you guys had, what, what were you looking for there, and how, how did you see Which that? One? The, the one that you had. Uh, After the, the timeout? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, well, we had a couple things going on. We had the quick two if we wanted it. I thought we had the quick two. I thought we had the catch and go quick two. We had the pull you know, pull behind, and then, you know, we had some th- outlets for three. Um, you know, we knew we had another timeout, so the quick two would have, you know, wouldn't, you know, would have set us up there, foul again, and then advance the ball. So that's, uh, that was ideal. Um, you know, so that's, that, but that didn't happen. So we, we got it too late in the clock, so. You had a much better start today. Was it yeah. Powell that really kind of got them into things? No, I mean, yeah, I mean, he was awesome. He was great for them. Um, he was huge. Uh, we, we had a hard time containing him. He made all the shots he needed to make, including the one at the end of the third. We just could never get – after they came back into the game, we could never, like, control the game, uh, whether it be through rebounding, um, shot making, or, or, or containing pal. So – and then, from an offensive standpoint, do you like the shots you're getting? They just weren't going, or was it a was it just a rough? Like, I mean, it felt like we game that felt way? like we rushed them, you know. So, but for the most part, I thought they were okay shots. You know. On the the last, on Ant's last bucket, is there a point where the two becomes too late to take? Well, for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, if, if you could get a quicker foul, you know, then but with three seconds left, I mean, if you're going to play the play the you know the foul game you got you got to try to take the quick two right away so just with with kind of how the, the the game was played what made it maybe a little tough for some of your other guys to get going like mike 0 for 4 nas 0 for 7 uh, just didn't uh, get no yeah i thought nas had great looks I, I don't really you know i don't know um, what what that was until i go back and look at it again i didn't think it was anything like that they particularly did from a tactical point of view um you know, uh, they switched the matchups a bit, so they you know had a little bit more size on on Mike at times. So, um, but yeah, I don't until I look at it again. I, I can't say that that was like the thing. Yeah, when somebody like Kawhi gets put on Ant and it makes it a little more hard for Ant to create advantages and whatnot, what, where does the offense go from there? Where would you like to see it go? Well, from? I thought you know I thought in the pick and roll we. You know the Kawhi was on them, and they came up, and they put two on the ball, and we just we had a couple turnovers and late bad passes that you know those things need to be on time on target, and then you can make the next play. Um, you know, obviously we we can we can go Rudy Mike, we can go Cat, you know, um, we can go a lot of we can go several different places at that point in time. So, Sakita so turning on days like today when the offensive glass is such a huge thing, turning those offensive rebounds into more second chance points than they seem to tonight for us yeah i mean just finishing i mean just like composure strength we got we get the ball and then we just flop it back up there you know we just got to take our time you know or kick it out for an open three you know so chris with uh carl uh they're they're bringing the doubles on him it seemed like he was doing a good job of of getting off that i think he had eight assists in this game here is that kind of what you want to see yeah, is that absolutely. awareness of the double yeah, absolutely. So it was really, really good for him. You know, made the simple play, it's a lot of more skip passes, wide open shots. So got to keep doing it. Coach, they took five points from Nas, one on the three. That was kind of unusual. He makes a three and then they come back and say no basket. Yeah, I mean, um, that happens from time to time. It's. It's unfortunate, but I guess he stepped out of bounds. I don't really know. So they can re- they can review that. Uh, if you step out of bounds on a shot, they can take it away, um, just like they can change it if you step on the three-point line. But what's interesting to me is that if you step out of bounds and they miss it in any other part of the possession and you continue to score, they don't take those points away. So if you step out of bounds, you step out of bounds. It should nullify the whole possession, not just.